What's good, y'all? Today I'm going to give you guys a little bit of insight into my experience being a black male nurse. Are there any differences and what to look out for? So stay tuned. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to A Couple Nurses. Today's video, we're pretty much going to be talking about my experiences as a black nurse, as a black male nurse. And are there anything that you guys should be looking out for if you're a black male nurse or black male nursing student or thinking about pursuing nursing school? But before we get into today's content, be sure to like and subscribe. If you find any value in this video, comment nerves, nurses rock at the bottom. And also check out our podcast Monica and I have. It's called Code Blue and Bullshit. We pretty much talk about the reality of nursing, things that we learn, and really just a place for us to vent and give nurses a voice to relate to. So why am I making this video? I'm making this video because there is not many of us in healthcare. When I say many of us, I'm talking about black male nurses. The majority of black male nurses that I've run into are generally uh, African, and that's not to be racist or anything at all, but that's just pretty much what the statistics are. They're not really African American or come from the inner city. Uh, a lot of the black male nurses that I've run into come from other countries. So what are kind of statistics? I don't really know the statistics. But I know that a lot of 28 year old black men are not nurses. A lot of us are in jail. We have a criminal history. A lot of us are uneducated. I want to give uh, people out there just a reality check and really like, hey, you know, if you are a black kid, you know, 18, 19 years old, thinking about nursing, uh, you know, you can do it. It's definitely a great career. Lots of opportunity. Let's get into it. Personally, I have not really felt any flack about being a black male nurse. Um, you know, at first I thought when I was in nursing school, when I graduated, I was thinking people were going to think I was some kind of thug or not want to receive care for me uh, just because I'm black and listen to, you know, Future, Drake, Lil Uzi, Jay-Z, you know, I listen to all hip hops and that's kind of, I think music plays a big role in creating who you are as a person. Um, and that's kind of me talking on a tangent, but the music that you listen to says a lot about who you are personally. It's still on the same tangent that I think hip hop is very uplifting you know there's ratchet shit that you can kind of get down and dance to but then there's a lot of music out there that jay-z makes that kanye west makes the nipsey hustles of the world uh the mac millers dave east uh tyler the creators there's a lot of music out there that's actually very insightful and very motivating that can kind of help elevate you and really have you thinking in that mindset of you know i need to dominate but anyways uh, are you going to get some flack for being a black male nurse? Uh, I would say no. I mean, I have had a couple older uh, Caucasian patients and their spouses that kind of look at me a little weird when I come into the room, tell them I'm going to be their nurse for the day. Establish that you are the professional, that this is the plan for the day. This is what we're going to do for the day. These are our goals. This is how we're going to achieve those goals. I've generally seen that patients are going to instill their trust into you. I think this is one of those things that if you think that the world's out to get you type of deal, if you think that, oh, because I'm a black guy, they're not going to want to listen to me, that's going to be your reality. And that's really with anything. So if you're looking for something out in the world, that's going, that's going to be what you receive. You're putting that energy out, that's what's going to be received. That's not even in my mind, and it shouldn't be in your mind either, regardless of race, regardless of sex. As far as being a male nurse, now being a male nurse and a female nurse, I have seen some differences there. So one of the major things that I've seen that's been a big difference is that the male nurses get asked for repositioning often. If you're a male nurse, you're always gonna get asked by some of the female nurses to help scoot a patient up or to turn a patient, and it's not a problem. You know, I'm not complaining about it at all. But generally speaking, men are stronger uh, than women. Also with the male nurses that I've been around and given and received report from, I've noticed that we tend to be a lot more objective than my, our, we, our female counterparts. So whenever we're getting or receiving report, it, se it tends to be facts only. What are the facts in the situation? Uh, it's not really too much emotion where people are talking about the families acting like this, the patients acting like this. Like we don't really include too much of that into our report. And that's how I like it. I don't want my um, my assessment tainted by someone's emotions about how family or patients acting. And the last thing that I've noticed that our difference between the male and, and female nurses that I've worked with is that the male nurses tend to be a little bit more competitive. Not to say women aren't competitive because I know a lot of women that are extremely competitive. A lot of women that I work with are extremely competitive. Monica is extremely competitive. But a lot of the male nurses that I've worked with, a lot of them are already in school. A lot of them are already taking classes to get another degree. A lot of male nurses are already in management. So 
I think that we tend to be a little bit more competitive and kind of want more. And I think that's just kind of our nature and just the way men are. Um, but that's just my thoughts, it's just my opinion. End of the day, if you're a black male nurse or thinking about becoming a black male nurse, whether you're black, white, Asian, Indian, Chinese, Mexican, it does not matter what you look like, what your sex is, what your sexual affiliation is. You should be knowing that you're gonna be judged by your competence and what you know and how much you've studied and how you can deliver that information. Because I, it doesn't matter. Whenever I'm getting or talking to a doctor or talking to anybody within our healthcare team, I'm literally not looking at color. And I don't think that they're looking at color when they're listen, listening to me because it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we're focusing on the patient. We're focusing on how can we achieve the problem in front of us, period. So keep that in the back of your mind. Um, race doesn't matter. Sex doesn't matter. We're all here for the same goal. And uh, that's it, guys. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. If you are a black male nurse or any other race out there, have you experienced any uh, racial slurs or any racial scrutiny since you've been in healthcare? If you have, leave us a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. Let's chat it up. Until next time, guys, be easy. Comment nurses rocking the bottom and peace out.